Hello, hello, hello everyone. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, boys and girls. This is the voice of Sam Olekama. And I want to use this opportunity to wish everyone a happy new year in advance. From this part of the world, it's not new year yet. We have a couple of hours before we enter the glorious 2024. But I want to wish you a happy new year in advance. The new year is going to be well with us. The new year will be favorable to us. The new year will not crush us. Though 2003 has eat badness or whatever, it will not affect us in, new, in the new, new year and the new month that come. It is new in the sense that it is man-made. But God's creature is always new. It is a new day. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new year. But because man created it and demarcated it in the calendar, we are going to assume it is a new God's creatures are always renewing. It is a new day. It's a new moment. As I'm speaking to you now, every second that passes is a new second. It's a new moment. You have to keep looking towards a new, newness. You have to keep looking towards the future. When I started this video, when I said greetings, when I said happy new year, it was a past now. It was a few seconds ago, but it was past. Because every minute is a new. It's a, it's a secret behind that. You see, you keep looking on the future. You don't look at the past. I don't know what's going to happen in the next five seconds. Something great may happen beyond my imagination in the next few seconds from now. I don't know it. It's going to be new. But the past is gone. The future is approaching. So if every moment is new, as you step into life, as you perceive, uh, persevere, as you step out in every venture, it's a new occasion, it's a new venture, it's a new gathering, it is new. God created it. You have to keep looking at the new. Don't dwell at the past. Don't worry about what has gone. It's over with. Newness. It's a secret of life. Look forward. Look towards the newness. Every approaching second is a newness. It brings glory. It brings wonderful. Don't let the badness or the ugly sight of the past corrupt the future. The future is always best. Because the best is yet to come. Anyway, you got that picture. But there's something I wanted to share today. A little bit controversial. Usually, good stuff are very controversial. Um, and it may not be, but I'm just saying a little bit, because some people may disagree with me, but I'm not worried about the disagreement. Because disagreement, it will always happen. But this, the, the truth will always dominate. The truth in life will always overcome the evil. It doesn't matter how loud the evil is. Truth will always persevere. What I'm trying to tell you is that, again, I'm just a little bit telling you what I'm going to do this coming new year. This new year, my main goal is to kill all my enemies. That's my goal. And I'm going to tell you why, why I'm going to do that. Young man is playing ball behind me. I'm going to tell you this new year why my main aim is to slaughter every force of darkness in my life. The young boy said, huh? Yes, that's what I'm going to do. And, and why you should be able to do likewise is very critical that you kill your enemy. You see, life, this life, if 
you are to gain anything, there is nothing you gain without forces of opposition. For you to get anything in life, to persevere, to overcome, you have to be prepared to go to warfare. You have to go to warfare. There is no throne, there's no crown without a fight. I have to tell you that with all. It took me a while to figure it out. I am one of the people that expect something to come under the plot of gold. Easy. I am one of the people that think that you don't struggle, that what belongs to you will come easily on your table. It took me a while to come to the realization that for you to get what belongs to you, you have to fight. And I decided to fight. So this coming year, the death and the corpse of my enemy will be floating the street. I'm going to slaughter them to get my crown. You see, David, before David became a king, he has to click Goliath. The Goliath, the, the fate of the Goliath being killed is what gave David the throne. That throne didn't come easy. David had to summon every courage, ridicule, even from his own family from his own blood brothers, from the present king, to, ah, I, can, I have thousands of similar experience to share, but I just want to use David as an example. David has to go a lot, a lot to slaughter Goliath. And when he slaughtered Goliath, when Goliath was slaughtered, that's when he, his throne was made manifest. That led him to the ascension of his throne. So likewise, you have to kill a Goliath to get your crown. If you think you will become a king on the plot of good, on easy, you are, you, you, you are daydreaming. You are daydreaming. So if I can give you a recount, several recounts, of pain that David have to endure, the ridicule. You know, there's nothing that pains more than the ridicule from your own king, your own brothers. When he went to serve them, when he go to serve them food, and he had the glory at doubting the people of God, the Israelite, and he wanted to make a move, and they say, hey, 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 "Look at this one." He always say, "What well, you know?" and David was troubled from his heart to go and do something. But his own king, his own king, trying to make a fool of him. So look at this one. But the spirit in God, the spirit in David, propel him, keep erupting like a volcano, like a volcano, to go to war, to go and take over his crown. To go and capture his throne. I'm just giving you everything that happened in the Bible is an example that we must follow. You have to be prepared to face your glory. Yet. You have to be prepared to face your enemy. And you have to be ready to kill him, kill that enemy. It will not, it will not be, it will not, things will not be easy without a fight. Sometimes you have to use the enemy's weapon to even kill him or her, whatever it may be. David was able to cut off Goliath's head with his own knife. And that's what I specialize. And my expert is using my opponent's instrument to, to deal with them. And that's how it's going to be this year, 2024. The weapon I will use to kill my enemies is what the enemies have had intention already and with him. What the enemies is already have that is preparing to fight me. That's the instrument I will use to slaughter him and cut off his head. You see, I just want to know what I share. Sometimes people, when you read the Bible, try to look at it. Don't look at it literally. That's where most people make a mistake. The Bible said, the Bible I'm reading said, that Jesus Christ did not say anything that he didn't say. That's nothing he said, except he said it in, pro, in parable. Jesus was there's nothing in the Bible that was a straight talk. It has a connotation, so many angles. You see, as a as a fact with the truth. When you look at the truth, truth will always be truth. 
from any direction. The difference between a truth and a lie is that a lie may appear truthful in one angle. But the truth, when you look at it at the four corner, always be the truth. That's how truth distinguishes me from truth to lie. I'm very good in digressing when I'm saying a topic, but I'm saying it because I'm a good teacher. I like to give different facets for you to help you understand. I'm going to be very short in this video, but the main purpose of this video, I'm going to share it to my friends, to those that I call my friends. Even for those, per adventure, it may even land to my enemies. And I want them to know that this 2024, my purpose is to kill them. If you identify yourself as my enemy, count yourself dead in this 2024. I will use your own knife. The, the Bible knife, literally, even though it may not be knife, literally. But that knife you prepared, I'm going to use it to cut off your head. That is the purpose of this message. Going back to the explanation of the Bible. Bible is not a literary word. Everything in Bible is spoken in parables, idioms, synonyms, whatever. You have to be able to dissect it in an angle. And how you justify it, because you have to look at it from different angles for it to look to match. Bible does not contradict itself. The, way, the problem with most people is that when they're interpreting the Bible, they just pick one verse. And the judgment, you can't do like that. Bible has so many things that may seem to be contradictory, but it's not contradictory if you look at it from the 360 degree. If you look at it from the 90 degree, one may be contradicted, contradicting, to, contradicting to the other. But when you look at it at 360 degree, it becomes one, and you know it's a truth. As you look at the Bible, as you read the Bible, you understand what I'm saying. You may, it may not make sense now, but it eventually makes sense to you. So the Bible doesn't contradict itself. Everyone that did a spot in the Bible faced an uphill task and overcome. And I'm going to overcome too. Even if it means killing my enemies, I'll do that. And that's the purpose of this New Year message video I'm going to share to my social media. That this coming year, 2024, the corpses and the body of my enemies will be filling the street. They will wake up one day, they will slump and die. They will all of a sudden move. Why? Because I am now engaged in warfare. They will die. I have spoken. People that know me, most people that don't know me, but people that know me know that my words are very strong. If it's spoken, it's an oracle. My voice is oracle. You know, like oracle. Uh, how am I going to explain oracle now? But anyway, I have a very strong word. That's why I'm very careful before I use it. When I use it, hey, 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 hey back to basis. This 2024 is going to be a good year for us. It will be a good year. But for my enemies, the enemies of Samuel Olekama, the enemies of my progress, the enemies of my advancement, count yourself dead 2024. Because I'm going to warfare and you, I'm going to slaughter you. Just like David slaughtered Goliath, you'll be dead. I've got guys guaranteed. I mean, there's no guess about it. And the weapon of, history, the weapon of warfare I'm using is the one you have on your whatever, your knife that I'm going to use to cut off your head. That's what I'm going to use. So shall it be.